Welcome back guys, in this video I will be testing Cyberpunk 2077 along with its expansion pack Phantom Liberty on my ROG ally that comes with Windows 11 Radeon 780M GPU based on RDNA 3 architecture I will be showing you how to use the intake version of FSR4 upscaler in conjunction with XCSS frame generation even XCSS low latency mode will work which will help in cutting down the latency I will be using OptiScaler mod in order to achieve all of this for enabling FSR4 intake version, I will be using the in-game DLSS upscaler as the input. We will be using its quality preset. With this preset, it is recommended to select model 1 for FSR4 intake upscaler via OptiScaler mod to get the best possible image quality. This game officially supports XCSS frame generation. You will be able to access the setting on ROG Ally after installing OptiScaler mod. But the problem is, in-game XCSS frame generation is not compatible with in-game DLSS upscaler, you need to switch to in-game FSR4 upscaler which will get unlocked on ROG Ally after installing OptiScaler mod. If you use the quality preset of in-game FSR4 upscaler for enabling FSR4 upscaler intake version, then it's recommended to change the model from 1 to 0, otherwise noticeable texture shimmering will be produced in the environment. The game was updated recently, latest patch 2.31, the developers finally added a toggle for in-game vignette effect if vignette effect is enabled in-game FSR frame generation won't work properly it will feel a bit choppy during fast visual motion disabling the in-game vignette will help in improving the smoothing effect of in-game FSR frame generation but the problem is it will also produce some noticeable graphical artifacts like ghosting around a fast moving vehicle's bumper I have highlighted this graphical artifact in my cyberpunk PC gameplay video I'll drop its link in the description I'll be using the latest test build of OptiScaler mod version 0.9 preview for 20250922 available on their discord server. We'll give the link to their discord in the description of the video. Just click on the dot .cmz link here. FSR4's SDK was leaked a month ago. It included files corresponding to in-date version of FSR4 which could be used to compile an FSR4 TLL. Big thanks to reddit user athlete dependent 926 for compiling this TLL file and sharing it with the community just click on the go file link here this page will open up just need to download amd fidel tfx upscaler tx 20tll file click on download here now I'll install optiscaler mod just open its archive file select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini optiscaler.tll label xcss underscore fg.tll this is xcss frame generation file DXLAN version of XCSS super resolution not required libxcss.tll XCSS super resolution file libxcll.tll XCSS low latency mode file fake NV API files fake NV API will replace the in-game reflex implementation with XCSS low latency mode Vulkan version of Fidelity FX not required Nukem 9 mod not required select all of the DX12 versions of Fidelity FX files right click copy 10 files selected from here I'll show you where to paste them open the games install directory select the game in your stream library right click manage click on browse local files open bin folder x64 folder paste everything here replace the existing files wait for the process to complete now we just need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll rename dxgi done if you are using any other mod with the file name dxgi.tll then you can use a different file name for optiscaler mod like d3d12 or winmm now i'll be installing the intake version of fsr4 upscaler and just copy its amd fidelity fx upscaler dx12.tll file which you downloaded from reddit Open the games install directory, open bin folder, x64 folder, replace the existing file, paste, replace. Now we will be able to enable FSR4 in Cyberpunk running on ROG Ally. I will be using Afterburner and RTSS to show you the performance metrics, open RTSS, click on setup, scroll down to the end, make sure enable frame rate limiter setting and inject NVIDIA reflex latency marker setting are disabled. Enable use Microsoft D2's API hooking setting. Adrenaline settings for the game. FreeSync and VSync enable. 
I have set the UMA buffer size to 5 GB. My LS running on BIOS version 3.4.2. Install LS latest official GPU driver that added support for Battlefield 6 using a 27 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 27 watts. 900p resolution. CPU boost disabled. Connected my FlyDG Beta 4 Pro controller to LA via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Play. In game settings, I am using the medium graphics preset. Upscaler first, I will set it to DLSS. Transformer model does not matter. It's only for RTS GPUs. Using the upscaler's quality preset, sharpness level, I'll just set it to 0.3. Up to you. Frame generation disable for the time being. Disable all of the post processing effects like film grain, chromatic abrasion, depth of field, lens flare, motion blur. There's the toggle for vignette off and these are the settings that come with the medium graphics preset medium to high apply video section display mode set to full screen 900p resolution vsync off no fps cap applied xcss low latency mode won't work without xcss frame generation even if you enable it first i'll highlight the effect of in-game upscalers on fsr4 upscaler activated via optiscaler mode once the game loads up, open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. I'll increase its size, click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale, set the value to 1.3. Enable OptiScaler's performance overlay, expand FPS overlay section, check the setting FPS overlay enable, full plus graph. Size, I'll just set it to 1.4. Scale. Upscaler, XCSS is selected version 2.0.2 .2, default upscaler click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler select fsr 3.x as the option click on change upscaler again api d3 d12 fsr used beg your pardon fsr's version used 4.0.2 this is the intake version of fsr 4 upscaler input in game dlss upscaler txj spoofing disabled by default auto explorer setting is on yeah current model selected one as the model settings in OptiScaler mod is set to default, it will automatically select the model for us based on the in-game upscalers preset selected. As I am using the quality preset of TLSS upscaler, model 1 is selected here and it does not produce any shimmering effect. Save INI close. Base resolution 1066 by 600 pixels upscale to 900p resolution. Yeah, check out the image quality. It's looking so clean, so sharp, completely stationary. No shimmering effect is produced. Look at the building in the background. This is beautiful. We are hitting the GPU bottleneck here. FPS 45. Upscaler cost. It's around 4.8 milliseconds. Leaves of the tree. They are not producing that shimmering effect. Fence rendered properly. Minor shimmering can be seen during fast visual motion. See. Okay, I'll just change the in-game upscaler to FSR4. In-game XSS frame generation won't work with in-game DLSS upscaler. Just set the resolution scaling to FSR4. Setting got unlocked on ROG LR. Preset set to quality, same sharpness level. Apply. Resume the game from the same spot. I haven't changed any settings in OptiScaler mod yet. But look at that ugly shimmering produced in the environment around the building, in the background, around the barricade here, around the car. So we need to change the model preset for FSR4. Just open OptiScaler menu. Model settings set to default. Current mod selected one. This is the problem here. Just change it to model 0. It corresponds to FSR native A, but for some reason it works here. Base resolution 1067 by 600 pixels, upscale to 900p. Resume the game and yeah, check out the image quality now. That shimmering effect is gone, it's fixed in the environment around the car, the building, windows, textures. Oh my god, <laughs> this guy rammed his vehicle into mine. FPS 42 
you are getting the same performance with the in-game DLSS upscaler upscaling costs around 5.2 milliseconds I'll go back to DLSS upscaler I won't be using in-game XCSS frame generation will enable XCSS frame gen via OptiScaler mod resume the game now again we are seeing some texture shaping because we need to change the model preset for FSR4 upscaler need to select model 1 source input in-game DLSS say why not resolution 1066 by 600 pixels back to the game and that shimmering effect is gone roughly the same performance but with a slightly lower upscaling cost 4.9 milliseconds with the in-game FSR4 upscaler selected upscaling cost was around 5.2 milliseconds drive my vehicle FPS stays close to 40 VRAM usage is close to 4 GB Games VRAM usage has been optimized with the latest update Even in Phantom Liberty, I was not required to set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB Maximum VRAM usage that I observed was around 4.8 GB I jumped into Dogtown one of the most demanding areas in this game exclusive to Phantom Liberty expansion riding my bike oh my god these guys shooting at me as you can see FPS is close to 30 we are hitting the GP bottleneck and VRAM usage it increased to around 4.4 GB in the older versions of the game game used to stutter a lot here while traversing the game world Look at that CPU usage, 60%, it's very variable, it's on the higher side here. Okay, so I'll drop the resolution to 720p, and this is FSR 4 upscaler, intake version. Lot of NPCs here, makes the game very heavy on the CPU, look at that CPU load, 75% C. VRAM usage, it's close to 4.7 GB, 4.8 GB. Drop the resolution to 720p. Resume the game from the same spot. Yeah, FPS increased to around 45. Upscaling cost, it dropped to around 3.3 milliseconds. Big improvement in terms of performance after dropping the resolution from 900p to 720p. Image quality is still looking decent, all thanks to FSR 4 upscaler. Not looking blurry or pixelated. 34 to 45 FPS in Dogtown while traversing the game world. a few people <laughs> on foot performance should be better see tin can just throw a grenade NPCs are dead this tin can Now I'll enable XCSS frame gen. Open OptiScaler mod menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source. Select TLSS G via streamline as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Click on save INI. Close. Before exiting the game, set the display mode to windowed borderless required for using XCSS frame gen. Apply. Restart the game. Play. Open the game's graphics settings and just set frame generation to TLSS frame gen. Upscaler TLSS. Apply. Need to restart the game. Play. I am in Little China standing right outside V's apartment building. 54 FPS here. Open OptiScaler mod menu. Just check this setting active under XCFG. Current streamline FG state. It's on. Frame pacing graph became thick. 
XSS frame gen is working. Check the debug view. You will see these purple sidebars flickering. If XSS frame gen is not working, the sidebars won't appear at all. Disable the debug view. I'll use XSS inspect app to verify the features of XSS. Minimize the game. Run XSS inspect app. From this list, you need to select Cyberpunk. Double click. XSS frame generation context. Yeah, it's running. XSS low latency mode context 1. Low latency mode on. Can see the valid frames getting generated. All good here. Check out the real world input delay. The cross is not flickering. Minor latency is produced by XSS frame gen. Very impressive results. I can easily trace a circle. This is amazing. Okay, time to kill the cops. You know the drill. FPS stays close to 80. Animation quality is looking very smooth. Very easy to tell that smoothing effect of XCSS frame gen is indeed working properly. No coasting will be produced around a fast moving vehicle's bumper. In this area is a bit dark. Finally, I'm in a brightly lit area. Now observe the vehicle's bumper. No artifacts are produced around it. Now I'll test the game in top down. Area loaded up, your hair FPS is close to 70, riding my bike. Expect the FPS to be within a range of 60 to 70, see. Check out the real one input delay. Okay, I'll highlight a frame generation related graphical artifact. Just observe the iron sights of my weapon. During fast visual motion, yes, some ghosting is produced around the iron sights. I hope my mobile phone camera is able to capture this ghosting. See, universal frame generation related artifact. In game FSR frame generation produces a more aggressive ghosting effect than XCSS frame gen. Okay, I'll show you some combat. Lot of NPCs in this compound. It's a heavily guarded area as well. All hell is going to break loose. I'll enter through here. VRAM usage it's close to 4.5 GB. Almost hitting the GPU bottleneck. I take out this tin can. Explosion, it did not slow down the game. Another people running away. Security. Now I'll just throw a grenade. Heavy machinery. Yeah, FPS stays above 60 even during combat. Intense combat. Very good results produced by OptiScaler mod. And the intake version of FSR 4 Upscaler. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.